Make sure you guys stay tuned until the very end of this video if you want to learn how to win one of these new items for free. So as you guys might know, Adopt Me just got updated, they added a giant summer sale into the game, 20% off in-game currency, a bunch of discounts on like the uh, permanently rideable potions and some gliders and all that good stuff. So I'm going to be doing another giveaway at the end of this video like I do on all of my Adopt Me videos. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is pick the winner to last week's giveaway, okay? Over 1,000 of you guys have commented your Roblox username inside over here. So I'm going to go ahead, come over here to random comment picker, and go ahead and select a ton of comments, alright? So it's gonna look, go ahead and load in, you know, skip through all of the picking, and I'm just gonna put 20 names on the right side. The first 20 people that pop up will be getting a lemonade stand of their own. And here you guys go. These are the 20 people that will be getting a lemonade stand sometime here. Maybe you already have logged in and redeemed it, but sometime in the near future, you guys will be getting your lemonade stand. Congrats. So if you guys stay tuned until the very end of the video, I'm going to be doing another giveaway, and I'm probably going to be giving away Robux this time out of my own Roblox group and stuff like that, maybe some Robux code. So if you guys want to win some Robux to get some of like in-game items, comment your username in the comment section down below, and more instructions later in the video. Alright, so I'm here with one of the uh, admins of Adopt Me here, okay? This guy named uh, Cobra. And he's gonna go ahead and show me around here. We're gonna experiment with all of the new features inside of this game. Alright, so what's the first feature we should take a look at? Uh, well, we recently just added a new pool party feature. And... Pool parties. Hmm, very interesting. Alright, so this is my first time taking a look over here, like, since the update is. Okay, so this is gonna be my first impression of everything. Okay, so we do obviously still have, like, the uh, lake, river thing with Jake here in the middle that like, people sometimes do very very bad things with to their babies with here that we shall not talk about but uh yeah all right so uh, the first thing we gotta do is like uh, take a look here inside of the uh, shop so as you guys can see over here this is like across the uh, wooden bridge this area is like by some uh, houses here it's so next to the playground there is this area of like this red and blue water slide some like a uh, pool like balls and like toys and all this funny stuff here all of this stuff okay it's like uh probably yeah I don't remember remember seeing this last time I played hide and seek inside of this game like a few weeks ago. So that means this is probably the new update, am I right? <laughs> yep, you are correct. Alright, so now how do we get like the floaty things? Because I heard something about like there were like floaties. Yes, you can buy the floaty things in this uh, shop right over here. Uh, this used to be a shop that said under construction, but now... Oh, uh, where's uh, the shop? Because I'm on top of a giant rock here, I just got flung. Why don't you go back to the lot. pathway? <laughs> Uh, alright, so I should probably I should come, cool. uh, somewhere down here. Okay, looks like- oh, it's this building right here, right? Yep. Alright, I should go inside and, uh, let's see. What is available for us to get? Hmm, we got, like, a bunch of flamingos, pink and blue flamingo, pool noodles, surfboards. I'm not sure what these are, floaties. Yeah, they look like Floaty. life jackets at first. <laughs> I was like, why would you need life jackets? We got, like, pizza looking- yeah, pizza floats. And we got more uh, lazy people floats here. B blue and purple option. And also we got like tires, okay? Yeah, these are like totally 100% vehicle tires. Might need to provide your own wheels. Wait, actually, no, they're, they're pool floaties. Yeah, what am I even saying? <laughs> they're not tires. <laughs> I mean, well, you could use a tire to float on a pool, but it's suboptimal, alright? So I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of every single one. I'm gonna go ahead and make mine red, because, like, why not? Surfboard, 600 over here. Got a pool noodle as well for 100. These are really expensive pool noodles. Holy cow. 200 mermaid float. Okay, this is, like, they look like flamingos, even though they are... Yeah, they, I don't know why they look like flamingos from a long distance, um, but... Yeah, maybe it's just, like, the shape of, like, the, uh, paddle thingamajig at the end, the, the tail. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hold up- Oh, that's a giant flamingo thingamajig. I don't know, like, it looks like a flamingo. That's what it reminds me of. But, yeah, I uh, thought yeah. it was a flamingo at first, too. Alright, let's go ahead and grab an inner tube as well. I'm gonna just buy them all here so I don't have to constantly keep coming back. This pizza float is huge. This is, like... <laughs> I'm a strong bacon man. <laughs> I can lift... <laughs> And I can, uh, not lift, and, uh, hopefully, yeah, not oof myself. <laughs> let's grab a lazy float over here as well, alright? Let's get the red one, and I think that's basically everything here. And let's go ahead and go back to the pool and take all of this thing for a, uh, test ride, alright? Or whatever you want to call it. Okay, first thing we're gonna go ahead and do, just, whoa, just chuck it across here and just starts drifting away. Gotta swim over here. Okay, now I just got on... 
Is there a way to steer the thing? I don't think I can steer it right now. No, you're not able to steer it. You're right, just so, uh, float with the wind, I guess. Yeah, like you're completely up to physics uh, here. Okay, I just like got back on the front. Okay, now I'm on the back again. You're basically up to the mercy of the uh, non-existent wind inside of the game, but somehow like uh, you're still rotating because there's like a torque and, like somewhere here. Who knows? It's like a giant open system, but like, uh, yeah, okay. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. My fellow Baconers are getting teleported onto me and like uh, causing this to like spasm out and stuff all right i'm gonna go ahead and let them play with that okay toys so uh, we got ourselves the uh, pizza float obviously we're gonna test out the pizza float because i mean who doesn't like pizza one small problem it's stuck you chucked it the wrong way <laughs> yeah it uh it's doing something very interesting right now um can like the pizza float please go back into the water Big oof. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, a pizza float right over here in 3, 2, 1, boom. There we go. Now we have a pizza float in the water. And we can just chill over here and uh, have a good old jolly time. Um, <laughs> I don't know why there's two pizza floats whenever there's uh, one of them can seat four. And like, it's like three people to one of them and one person on the other. That's really strange. But uh, yeah, okay, it's nice knowing that they work in this uh, designated pool area. But what about taking it for a spin? in this giant river-like thingamajig in the middle of the map. All right, first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is get my inner tube and chuck it over here. And, uh, <laughs> all right, we're floating down the river in the middle. Whoa! Whoa there! Ho holy cow, Bacon Harris, how are you flinging me like this? This doesn't make any sense. I'm getting flung everywhere. All right, I think this uh, tube over here only has one seat. So, uh, yeah, okay, I can't really do that much. Come on, come on, tube. Come on, it needs like some paddles, okay? A new Fisty, if you're watching this in the future, add some paddles, and these are gonna be like the best things ever. Best mode of like boat transportation, whatever you wanna call it. It's basically, you get like a portable boat, all right? Uh, what about the uh, mermaid float? Yeah, we gotta obviously test this one out as well. Okay, this is actually surprisingly tiny. Like, when you're holding it up, it looks so big, but like, <laughs> it's actually not that big. And I'm kinda stuck on the edge of the thingamajig here again. Once again, whoa! What? Where did you go? I just got teleported back to my house. Huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Apparently, when people teleport to me, <laughs> weird stuff happens. So I should probably avoid getting teleported to by other people, alright? So let's go ahead and just casually go on to, uh, what's the vehicle over here? I'll just go on to my surfboard. That I can't even use on land. Well, actually, it's like the jet ski on jailbreak. I can kind of use it on land, but like I'm like drifting sideways when I'm like walking left. Yeah, it's slower than walking. Not not a good thing at all. Not not that great. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and just casually push a cannon with a baby inside over back to the uh, base in the middle. And let's try the uh, stuff again. All right, I think the surfboard might be our only hope of water transportation here. That actually like is controllable. Here we go. Oh, yeah. We can go under the bridge and just like go in circles all day long inside of this center place. Nothing much more than going in circles because this river sadly doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so uh, there's a random house over here underneath the uh, bridge. I'm not sure if this house over here is new. We got the uh, Griffin propeller, which is old. Uh, we have like floaties. Okay, let's see what we can do with floaties. Do floaties actually make you float? Okay, no floaties, I'm floating. That's really weird. And with floaties, I'm floating, but I'm slightly lower in the water. Uh, that's strange. Shouldn't yeah, I be, they're uh... more for just show and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> pool noodle. Uh, can a baby go on my pool noodle? I'm not sure. Uh, pick up. I look like I'm holding a lightsaber or something when I'm yeah. holding a baby. I'm not sure if I'd be feeling comfortable going around in public holding a giant pool noodle ready to whack a person with as a bacon hair. <laughs> probably not a good idea. So, uh, we'll probably hide that pool noodle for now. My favorite thing probably is the surfboard. There's nothing like it right now, okay? It's like the only watercraft inside of this game. You can kind of like drive it on land. I'm gonna try driving it on land because uh, I'm a weird bacon here that likes to drive water vehicles on land. And uh, yeah, so uh, surfboard. Not doing that well. It's falling back into the water. Uh, yeah, please, can you like actually drive? <laughs> Come on, surfboard. You can do it. I believe in you. Drive on land, please. Surfboard on land experiment, <laughs> gone wrong, totally not clickbait. <laughs> we can't even move. There is no way I'm going anywhere in the surfboard, guys. <laughs> Whoa! What? I just got flung out of the map again. So now there's only one last thing to do. 
go down the giant water slide. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into my doggy mobile here, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, go over here. We'll start from the uh, entrance to this uh, place. There's like all, all these uh, house plates here. Then there's like this uh, dock looking like bridge, and uh, let's go ahead and come on over here. On to, uh, we're gonna go on the red one first, because I kind of like red over blue. Alright, three, two, one, jump! Poof! I just hit my head on the rock, but I'm completely fine. Yeah. Logic. <laughs> Alright, let's try the blue slide. Hopefully it's not as a dangerous. Alright, three, two, one. Whoa! I just got, like, flung through a beach ball. I went through a beach ball, guys. How is this possible? <laughs> I have no idea. But, like, my legs are in the beach ball. Alright, well, uh, let's see. We're gonna treat this beach ball like it's a treadmill and see how fast it can run. Uh, that's definitely one very, very fast beach ball right here. Spinning at a rate of, uh, I don't know, how many feet per second? How many miles an hour? Who knows? Uh, come on. Come on, beach ball. Go, 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 go. Let's just, uh... Well, uh, can we exercise on it? Uh, I think, yeah, this is turning into more of like an exercise simulator rather than a beach ball here. <laughs> no idea how this is working, but, uh, it's doing a bit. Okay, we just made the beach ball fly. Apparently, beach balls have wings in this game, so, whoa! Okay. Okay. Getting flung again. <laughs> Definitely needs to be fixed, getting flung. Well... I don't think we should fix getting flung, because it's honestly pretty fun getting flung, alright? Like, uh, who doesn't like to- Whoa! We just- We just shot a beach ball across the map. Like, that beach ball is just gone. I have no idea where it just went. Like, I don't see it at all. There's just no sign of that beach ball whatsoever, guys. I think it actually went through the map. That is, uh, very interesting. So I'm getting reports that the Advent has saw the beach ball fly onto the Sky Castle, then get glitched through the ground, and is now completely out of the map. So, mission successful. We just oofed the beach ball out of Adopni. <laughs> yeah, fly things. Definitely the best thing you can use, okay? Like, there's a reason why when you add flying vehicles into a game, people like to play it a lot. So I guess I'll go ahead and wrap up this uh, Adopt Me update video. I'll go ahead and mention the giveaway right now. So go ahead and comment in the comment section down below your Roblox username and why you should get about like a thousand Robux, something like that. I'll give out a thousand Robux to five people. And if you want to win, tell me your Roblox username and why you want the 1,000 Robux in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you guys know exactly what to do. Hit like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.